Watch them now as they come toward you. What an incredible picture. Right on the boy line, Dave Vilwalk. Next to him, J. Michael Kelly. Steve David swung it a little bit wide. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Mark, a great, great start by J. Michael Kelly in lane two. Steve David is back a little bit behind him. Dave Vilwalk is somewhere lost in the rooster tails, probably right beside JMK. Well, he's back a little further than that, it looks like, from the rooster tails. As they go into the turn, the first boat out of the turn. Boy, it's hard to tell the colors. We see orange, though. That is that is Dave Vilwalk. But the boat to his right is slightly ahead of him, and that is J. Michael Kelly. Dave Vilwalk in the orange boat. J. Michael Kelly in the red one. And lost in their rooster tails is the U1, the old boy, Alberto. Look at the orange boat now. Tremendous boat speed as he moves by J. Michael Kelly into the second turn. Watch this one. This is where we had trouble last time. Dave Vilwalk running in about lane two. Turns it left. Hooks it sharply. Oh, there is flame out the back of the 16. The 16 has engine trouble. Or perhaps it's just because it's darker and we can see that. J. Michael Kelly giving chase and Steve David is back a bit. Remember the National High Points chase. Steve David has to catch J. Michael Kelly or Dave Vilwalk would win the National High Point Championship if they finish the way they are right now. We saw flame out the back of two of the boats. It may be something that happens all the time and we normally don't see it because it's normally not this dark when we run a final heat. Vilwalk now has the 16 flying up the back stretch. J. Michael Kelly in pursuit. It's back almost a rooster tail to Steve David and the old boy Alberto. Steve David is not catching either one of the two leaders as he has to do to secure the championship. Vilwalk through turn two one more time. This is a five lap heat. It's a long one. A lot of boat racing still to go. Vilwalk across start finish after two laps followed by J. Michael Kelly. Those two about a rooster tail apart. Then it's two full rooster tails back to the old boy Alberto. Steve David running quickly, but not catching either one of the two leaders. Jean Theoret coming by in fourth place in the yellow. U37, the leader, already onto the backstretch. Dave Vilwak doing a tremendous job of flying the orange boat. Maximum velocity. Now he picks it up again on the backstretch. The long, low rooster tail indicating tremendous high speed. And look at the boat ride. Nearly perfect. Now we see that flame again as he decelerates. And apparently that's not a problem, just something we're not used to seeing. Usually a little brighter than this when we are racing. Almost dusk here on Doha Bay. Bill walk down across the start finish line for the third time. He is the leader after third land, after three laps. J. Michael Kelly is back two rooster tails running in second place. Then it's back two more to Steve David. Could he be losing the National High Point Championship by one place on the race course? That is the way it looks right now, unless something changes. Your leader onto the backstretch, approaching the halfway mark of the final heat, is Dave Vilwalk out of Auburn, Washington. Came here in third place in National High Points. If he can win this heat and the driver behind him can stay in second place, it's going to be the orange boat winning. Well, there's a lot of flame. A lot of flame out the back of the orange boat. Is he slowing down? That can't be right. That's a lot of flame. I believe Dave Vilwak is slowing down a little now. Turning it left toward us. Boy, he's still running pretty well, but there's a lot of flame out the back of that boat. He's compressor stalling badly. The U-16 is limping as he comes across the start-finish line. There is flame out the back of the boat, and J. Michael Kelly goes by him. We have a new leader. J. Michael Kelly is the leader. He's in first place now. Steve David is about to catch Dave Vilwak and take second place, but now the U-16 comes alive again. Billwalk had tremendous problems with his engine. It cleared out. He's running well again. Now it's J. Michael Kelly in first place. Dave Billwalk with an apparently ailing race boat in second, but now he's slowing down once again. Here comes Steve David trying to overtake Dave Billwalk. Dave Billwalk's boat is limping, but he's still running as Steve David, the old boy Alberto, into second place. As Dave Vilwak nurses an ailing U16, we see flames out the back of that boat as he drops back into third place. J. Michael Kelly is going to take the checkered flag and win the 2009 Oryx Cup UIM World Championship. Steve David in second place wins the 2009 National High Point Championship and Dave Vilwak brings an ailing U16 across the line in third place. When it began to show flames and make all that noise, we presumed he'd go dead in the water.
Dave Bilwak was able to keep it alive and keep it running, but he could not stay ahead of the two very fast boats behind him. Jean Theoret will finish in fourth place for Billy and Jane Shoemaker, the U37, Peters and May, and Hogue Autoliners. A good day for that team. So your champion on the day, ladies and gentlemen, J. Michael Kelly, his third win of the weekend, and a very dramatic, very surprising finish. Steve David needed some luck and got some.